They use different slogans and different concepts for me almost every week, trying to catch something. Last week it was all chaos. You see me, I, there's no chaos. I have no chaos. I'm the one telling everybody to be calm. Why do you keep calling this the Chinese virus? There are reports of dozens of incidents of bi bias against Chinese Americans in this country. Your own aide, Secretary Azar, says he does not use this term. He says ethnicity does not cause the virus. Why do you keep using this? Because it comes from it's China. Racist. It's not racist at all, no, not at all. It comes from China. That's why. China. China. I and want you know, to be accurate. China. Chinese yeah, please, John. Country, please. Behind you. Uh, Are you I have a great, China? I have great love uh, for all of the people from our country. But uh, as you know, China tried to say at one point, maybe they stopped now, that it was caused by American soldiers. That can't happen. It's not going to happen. Not as long as I'm president. Uh, it comes from China. My second question is, there are some, at least one White House official, who used the term Kung Flu, referring to the fact that this virus started <laughs> in China. Is that acceptable? Is it wrong? Are you worried that that having this virus be, uh, be talked about as, as a Chinese virus, that that might I wonder who said that. that. You know who said that? that? I'm not sure the person's name, but would you condemn you the fact say that Say the term Kung again. The, a person at the White House used the term just the Kung term. Flu. Yeah. My question is, do Kung you think flu. that's wrong? Kung flu. And do you think using the term Chinese... <laughs> he keeps goading the reporter to say it. Say it again. Say it again. And then she says Kung flu. And he goes, yeah, Kung flu. Say it again. Say it again. <laughs> virus that puts Asian Americans at risk that people no, might target them. No, 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 no. I think they probably... Uh, would agree with it 100 percent it comes from china i don't know if they're sitting like you people are sitting you're actually sitting too close you should really we should probably get rid of about another 75 80 percent of you i'll have just two or three that i like in this room i think that's a great way of doing it you... <laughs> look at this she was slapping in the background he's like going what the heck is going on over here i'm just getting cremated over here i'm getting cremated unbelievable just figured a new way of doing it, uh, but you're actually much too close. You know, you two, you should leave immediately. It's really, I mean, I think I came up with the term. I hope I came up with the term, but it is fake news. It's more than fake news. It's corrupt news. Uh, they write stories without calling anybody. They'll write a story about me without even asking my opinion on something. It's totally fake. I've never seen, I mean, there is a story in the Wall Street Journal today about, uh, you know, about how we've done. We've done a phenomenal job on this. The governors, even, even Gavin Newsom, who, you know, I'm usually fighting with over the fires and I think you should do a different kind of a job at the in the forests and lots of things. We we argue a lot. But Gavin Newsom has been very, very generous, generous. Andrew Cuomo has been really very generous. I mean, they're saying we're doing a great job and everybody's saying. But then you'll read this fa phony story. These are very dishonest uh, media sources. They're very dishonest. And you know what? Someday, hopefully in five years, I won't be here and that'll be fine. I will have done, I think, a great job because I don't think anyone's done as much in three and a half years as I've done. I don't think. And the administration. This administration has done a great job. But the press is very dishonest. Why you held on to those documents when you knew the federal government was seeking them and then had given you a subpoena to return them? Are you them. ready? Are you ready? Can I talk? Yeah, what's you the mind? answer? Can I, do you mind? I would like for you to answer the okay, question. Okay, it's very simple to answer. That's why I asked it. It's very simple to You are a nasty person. Okay. <laughs> Can you answer why, you, why you held on to the documents? I was negotiating. And... Wow, wow, wow. Was that classic? You got to love the Trumpster. You got to love President Trump, folks. I mean, he doesn't take crap from anybody. None whatsoever let alone some CNN wannabe journalist. And she was. She was being mean. She was being condescending. She was being nasty. He calls it out. And somebody says, oh, that's not presidential. He shouldn't be doing that thing. He's a president of the world. He's a president of the United States of America. He should be setting a better example. No, he should be setting exactly the example that he just did by basically putting these people in their place. If this reporter 
so-called reporter, so-called, well, actually called hack journalist, but she in her mind thinks she's a journalist, would have asked the question in a nice manner, saying, oh, that's why I asked the question. You know, I would like an answer. I would like an answer right now. That's why I asked the question. That's why she got called a mean, nasty woman. He could have said she's a mean, mean, nasty broad. Could have said that thing too. But that's just the way it goes. Go ahead. Sure. She's shocked that I picked her. <laughs> I'm in a state of shock. I'm not thinking, Mr. That's President. okay. I know you're not thinking. You never do. <laughs> no, go ahead. Go ahead. In a tweet this weekend, Mr. President, you said that it's incorrect to say you're limiting the scope of the FBI investigation. What does that have to do with trade? I don't mind answering the question, but, you know, I'd, I'd like to do the trade It has to do with the other right? headline in the news, which is the Kavanaugh nomination. I know, but how about talking about trade, and then we'll get to that. We'll do that a little bit later. Do you think the trade, Anybody have a trade? Do you Go think ahead, your trade please. deal will pass through Congress, sir? Uh, I think so, but, you know, if it doesn't... Okay, come on now. That was absolutely classic. You talk about getting absolutely put down. I mean, in your place. That CNN reporter, I mean, do you see? What, she goes like, what? What did you just say? And then check out over here. This guy, you have to catch up. I'll play it again. But somewhere back over inside this area, I think it's this guy that's behind this orange. <laughs> I think he cracked up laughing. I don't know who that guy was. It went by so fast. But check that thing out. Check Jared Kushner's reaction and all these guys here when he says that thing. Let's go ahead and let's play that again right now. Yeah, go ahead. Sure. She's shocked that I picked her. It's like in a state of shock. I'm not thinking, Mr. President. That's okay. I know you're not thinking. You never do. <laughs> no, go ahead. Go ahead. In a tweet this weekend, Mr. President, you said that it's incorrect to say you're limiting the scope <laughs> of the FBI investigation. What does uh, that have to do with Fred? I don't mind answering the question, but, you know, I, I'd like to do the trade It has to do with the other right? headline in the news, which is the Kavanaugh I know, but, I know, but how about talking about trade, and then we'll get to that. We'll do that a little bit later. Do you think the trade... Anybody have a trade? Do you Go think ahead, your trade please. deal will pass through Congress? Absolutely classic, classic, vintage, vintage President Donald Trump. I mean, just absolutely destroys these reporters and there's so much more out there folks so much more but that had to be right now okay that's got to be in my top five of president trump taking on the media and just putting these so-called journalists in their place i mean it was just under the cuff he's got a whole bunch of people behind him all these guys are laughing it up and whatever <laughs> and that reporter says I mean, the, what she must have been thinking, yeah, I know you don't think anything at all. I know you don't think, what? What'd you say? I mean, to the whole world, folks, to the whole world. Unbelievable, classic Trump. Give him an A+. Plus. Anyways, we appreciate you taking the time to watch. You've been watching the Dr. Nasser Shake Show. I've been your host. My name is Dr. Nasser. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel, like, share, and follow us. You all know what to do. My final thought. When you're right, you're right. And boy, was Trump right on these things. And when you're left, you're wrong like those losers were. Until next time, folks, take care and stay safe.